Letitia James is a criminal. Who knows what could happen to her, but the Court of Appeals is about to throw her case out. That's our prediction. I'm not the only one. Welcome to Doug and Exile. I've been covering this case from day one. Those of you who've been following us, who gave us a subscription, thank you, because we're finally seeing the end of this is the big $500 million fine that James did with anger on, no jury, criminal. Here's some detail. So the Trump fraud case went before the appellate court this week. And by the time it was over, the closing arguments of the Democrat lawyers was just them begging to not get sanctioned. Not get sanctioned or disbarred. Let's hope so. That means they're probably going to get sanctioned because... What they did was totally wrong. By the way, welcome to Doug in exile. Where's my manners? Then the judges said, okay, let's try something else. They said, hey, have you ever prosecuted someone for lying about the value of a property when it resulted in the entire loan being paid back with interest? And again, they gave them like two hours to try to explain their case and they still couldn't produce a single case where that had happened. And then the judges said, hey, you know what? We'll give you another shot. They said, have you ever seen an attorney general prosecute a case where there was no damage to the public? Basically, there was no damage. He goes point by point. We've covered all this in videos that it's obvious Letitia James or Angeron uh, are imbeciles. This is a political hack job. I'm shocked the appellate court is going on the side of Trump and calling them out going, this is stupid. So now the judgments are in case we're going to show you proof that Letitia James is washed up. She's not going to be able to keep doing her job. That's my theory on it. Here's Travis happening. Now the Trump team went before the appeals court in the civil fraud case with Letitia James in New York and the appeals judges couldn't understand why Letitia James brought this case in the first place. These are Democrat judges. They're going, what are you doing here? They continuously asked her legal team for examples of anyone ever bringing a case like this before and even insinuated it must be political. In closing arguments, the James team spent a bulk of their time begging not to be sanctioned for weaponizing the justice systems. We, I want sanctions. I want prison time. Justice. Or this will happen again. Will the media report on this? By the way, no, they're not. Google this right now. Go to Google and look up. Letitia James and Trump put that in the search. It's buried so far down. All of the news is about Letitia James pursuing TikTok. They buried it. They buried it. They're hiding it because that's how big of a loss this is for Kamala Harris, the Democrats, the Department of Justice, corrupt Joe Biden, corrupt Jack Smith, and corrupt Engeron, weirdo nudie Engeron. Trump was right about you guys all along. And you had all of the legal analysts, the analysts over at the New York Times saying, Trump doesn't have a case. He can't do this. All the Midas Touch guys who are all lying to you on YouTube. That's right, Midas Touch. You're liars. You're going to get you're going to get reversed on this. They're all going like, there's a case. There's a case. No, there isn't a case. The people with the correct uh, conservative legal jurisprudence who actually quote the documents in context made the case. And I would turn against Trump. I would say Trump was going to lose this one if I thought he was going to lose this one. This one was always a fraud. Here's Ian Miles Chong, barely a peep about this in the press. I wonder why. I can't fully explain why they did the full burial on it, but they are doing the deepest dive burial on this one. They want this story to go away and it has to do with the campaign. Campaign looks bad. Because the, even the appellate judges are saying, they're quoted as saying like, this is appears to be election interference. It is election interference. So when you step back, you got to wonder why. It is emotional. They're not talking about any policy, no facts, just a tornado of terrified emotion. Fear the one man who won't stop. And he doesn't care. If you're truly radical out there, if you're an honest to God rebel, okay, how can you not be in favor of Trump. Oh yeah, if you're a radical rebel for Trump, let me know in the comments below. Are you still on board? Are you still amped? Are you still fighting? Or have you given up on America? Have you given up? Come on guys, it's just getting good. The tides are turning.
That was Greg Gutfeld from earlier this, uh, this year. I'm going back to CPAC with Trump. I'm going to all these quotes now because this is the old, I'm, go, I'm going to call out all the people back there who were lying to you. We'll do more videos on this. I'll bring up all their wrong videos on who was lying to you because we got this one right. I'm a barely literate comic book artist and I know more than legal analysts at the New York Times. You guys should hire me, a barely literate comic book artist to do your legal analyst for you because I got this one right. And your prognosticators are getting it wrong for your readers. What a terrible value your rag, your yellow rag is. Lunatics and maniacs, they cannot stand that they do not own me. I don't need them. I don't need anything about them. I don't need their money. They cannot steer me. They cannot shake me. And they will never, ever control me. And they will never, ever, therefore, control you. They're going to try to control you. And now we're going to go to Jessica Tarloff from earlier this year, what, what she said about this too. That, that quote drives her crazy. Since Donald Trump ran the first time, he has been making this argument. If they could do this to me, they could do this to you. The average person is not inflating their wealth by $800 million to $2.2 billion. There is no fraud here, which is this why is you're bringing up other stuff. No, it's yeah, this average person. So by the way, if Letitia James can go after a bil billionaire, it's not harder to come after you. It's easier to come after you. Where does she get? Where, why would she think that it's harder going like, oh, well, you're not a billionaire. So you don't have to worry about what happened to Trump. No, I do have to worry about all of us do a million times more because we don't have the money even to pay for our own defense counsel. Jessica Tarloff, you moron. This stuff should terrify the average American. Every New York businessman, if you're voting Democrat, uh, you do deserve to be uh, uh, politically prosecuted by Democrats, and you will be. Uh, the headlines, Letitia James versus Andrew Cuomo for New York mayor. Could it happen? That's one day ago. In short, she's running for mayor because she lost. This is such a scar on her record. This is such an embarrassment for Letitia James. She's chicking it out and running for mayor. Trump prosecutor Letitia James is reportedly mulling a run for mayor, even though her Trump fraud verdict could soon be thrown out. Oh, not could be is going to be thrown out. It hasn't been thrown out yet as of my recording of this, but it's as good as thrown out because I'm right. I hate being right all the time. It's miserable being me. Look at my Band-Aid on my, my nose. Letitia James losing the war against Donald Trump, says a legal analyst and lawyer who twice grilled Trump in New York fraud case now helps lead a 14-state war on addictive TikTok. So she's going, look, everyone, look over there. I'm not losing to Trump. I'm going to go take on TikTok. Here's Gutfeld. They tried to arrest him. They tried to sue him. I alone will never retreat. And that is why we must stand together and me with charge. We have to charge full speed ahead. Are you charging? Put charge down in the comments below. I'm Doug in exile.